All right, guys, so here's the review of the Redune R3. So this is actually an homage of the Spinnaker Bradner. So this is the second Redune watch I've checked out on the channel, the previous one being this one down here. If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a link to it up here if you want to check it out. So as you probably notice from the title of this and the thumbnail, we're doing something a little bit different, but we'll quickly go over the packaging, quickly show you what it's like. And then we've got that Redune branded on there. So before we get into this, I'm just going to say... I'm actually going to be doing a comparison with the original Spinnaker Bradner. I actually bought this one a few years ago, but just haven't got around to doing the review. But in this video, we're going to be comparing it to the Redune and see how they match up. So here's what they look like side by side. And you can probably tell straight away there's a few obvious differences between the two. Namely, being the dials. So you can see the Redune has a matte finish on the dial, whereas the Spinnaker has a sunburst finish. And obviously the Redune has also got that chapter ring, which is coloured, which is a slightly different design to the one on the Spinnaker. But otherwise, you can definitely see the resemblance between the two, and that it's an homage of the Spinnaker. I'll quickly show you them briefly, and then we'll go into the dimensions before we go into more detail. So, when it comes to the dimensions, they're pretty similar. So we've both got 42mm diameter. Thickness is slightly thicker on the Spinnaker at 148 compared to 14 on the Redune. And then they've both got 20mm lug width and also 50mm lug to lug. So only that one real difference, which is surprising. I was expecting there to be a few other little differences. When it comes to the weight, they're also the same there as well, coming in at about 97 grams, which is surprising considering they've got different straps, one being leather, one being rubber. So despite the dimensions being pretty similar, there are actual differences between these two watches. So let's get a zoom in on the dials and take a look at them so you can see what the actual differences are, because they're quite a few. So, as I mentioned before, this has got a matte finish on the dial, whereas the Spinnaker has a sunburst, which I'll show you in a bit. And also, another big difference with the Redune is that it's got a fully printed dial, nothing applied. So, printed branding, printed indices. And then we've got that date window in white integrating into the indices, which I do quite like the way they've done that. So it kind of matches the indices. And then you can see we've got a little bit of distortion there from the crystal where it curves on the edge. And you can probably also see on that bezel, we've actually got some raised sections. So it has, does add a little bit of depth there. So those little dots, the minute markers are raised, as are the numbers. So again, as I say, just adds a bit of depth. So what is an otherwise a fairly flat dial due to the indices not being applied. So let's show the spinnaker now in comparison. And as you can see, straight away, we've got that lovely sunburst dial. And we've also got applied indices, as well as an applied logo too. You've probably also noticed as well, we've got a different date window on this one. So the date window on this is actually black. I think that varies depending on which colour you go for. But again, I'm not entirely sure, so the link will be down in the description to both if you want to check it out. And then we've got the same kind of thing with the bezel. So we've got those raised dots and the other raised numbers as well. So again, adds a bit of depth, but because the applied indices on this one, there's just a bit more going on, a bit more of depth to the dial. You might have also noticed as well, we've got slightly different handsets on both. The ones on the Redune are slightly more simple than the ones on this Spinnaker. And another big difference that you might have noticed is the water resistance rating. So for some reason, this Spinnaker is only rated 180 meters, whereas the Redune is 200, which is an interesting little quirk with this one. Not entirely sure why it's only 180 and not 200, but that's what it is. So now let's look at these side on and talk about some of the other similarities and differences. So you can see we've got flat crystal on both of them, just an ever so slight curve on the edge. And then when it comes to the crowns, we've got a signed crown on the screw down crown. And then the one for the bezel is unsigned. Same as the spinnaker, obviously just different branding. Another big difference between them though is when it comes to the case backs. So you can see the Spinnaker's got a custom rotor with a display case back, which is really nice. And then the Redune, it's got an also nice case back, but it's a solid one with this nice design on it. So again, that's quite a big difference between the two, and both are screwed down. When it comes to the straps, obviously they're quite different too. As I've briefly touched on, the Redune comes with a rubber Tropic strap, which does actually have the Redune branded on there as well which is always nice to see. And then when it comes to the spinnaker, obviously that's on a leather strap, like a vintage kind of style leather with the stitching. 
again, that has also got the branding on the buckle. When it comes to the crystals on both of these, they're both sapphire crystal, but obviously with the spinnaker that has got the display case back, but unfortunately that is only mineral. So now let's talk about the, one of the main things with this watch, and that's that inner rotating bezel. So obviously both of these watches have it, but we'll start with the Redune. So the top crown is not screwed down, so you can just rotate it and it's bi-directional. And when it comes to the other crown, that is actually screwed down. It would have been nice to have the screw down on the inner rotating bezel one as well, so you don't knock it, because it can get knocked fairly easily. And as you probably guessed, yes, the movement is the NH35, so we have got hacking, which is always good. All works well, as you've come to expect with the NH35. It's a rock solid, reliable movement. And when it comes to the crown, there's no issues with that either. Screws back down nicely, no problem. So now let's check out the spinnaker, see how that compares. And again, it's got the same bi-directional inner rotating bezel, which isn't screwed down. And again, the other crown is actually screwed down. And again, we've also got the NH35. So again, another similarity with these two watches. So you're probably wondering what the prices are on these two. So with the Redune, that's coming in at about £99, and that works out to about €123, €113. Euros. But obviously with it being AliExpress, those prices can fluctuate quite a bit. When it comes to the Spinnaker, that's coming in at £280, which is about $348 and about €321. Euros. So a fairly significant price difference between the two, given how similar they are. But there's one thing we haven't checked out yet, and that is the loom. So now let's check out that. Straight away you can see we've got very different loom profiles on these two watches. So the Redune on the left, you can see it's got that loomed chapter ring, whereas the Spinnaker doesn't have that. They've also got different loom colours as well. The loom on the Redune, it says on the listing is C1, but I'm not entirely sure if that's correct because you can see we've got like a blue hue to some of the loom on there. So it looks more like a BGW9 or some kind of equivalent. And then that chapter ring is actually green, so that perhaps is going to be the C1, but it doesn't mention any other loom on there, on the listing, so I'm not entirely sure what it is. With the spinnaker on the other hand, that is C3, and that's C3 on the bezel, hands and indices. So no mixing and matching a loom there. When it comes to the longevity of both, you're probably going to notice as this goes on that the hands on the Redune do seem to fade a little bit quicker than those on the Spinnaker. They're not as bright as the indices either, which is a little disappointing. If you can have one brighter than the other, it would be nice to have the hands brighter than the indices and lasting longer, but unfortunately that doesn't appear to be the case with the Redune. In comparison, the Spinnaker, it's fairly consistent across the hands, indices and bezel, so they all fade around the same kind of time. Whereas the Redune is a little bit more patchy and a little bit more inconsistent. As I say, the hands aren't as bright as the indices and obviously the bezel is already fading fairly quickly now. So, a little bit of a mixed bag there. As I say, would have been nice to have more on those hands so they lasted longer. But unfortunately, not the case with this one. It's not bad loom by any means, but it's not great. It could have been better. It's usable, but... Not the best I've seen by quite a distance. Doesn't compare to the likes of San Martin, but it's definitely better than the likes of Pagani. So you're probably wondering, how do these both wear on wrist? So I'm going to show you both on wrist so you can get the comparison between the two, starting with the spinnaker. So this is what it looks like on my 7-inch wrist. And as you can see, yeah, it is fairly chunky. But it does still look good. Obviously this is on the leather strap as well. So that is different to the Redune, which I'll show you now. And this is what the Redune looks like. So it is slightly thinner, although it's probably not all that noticeable. But when you're wearing it, you can tell it is ever so slightly thinner. And obviously we've got this nice tropic strap. It does fit well. So the big difference between the two is that this is a matte finish. We've still got that nice distortion on the crystal. But obviously we don't have any depth really to the actual centre of the dial because the indices aren't applied, unlike the spinnaker. But we do still have it on that bezel, so there is a bit of interest there and a little bit of depth. 
So I guess the question is, which one do you prefer? Again, if you're interested in picking one of these up, links will be down in the description as always. Also, if you do want to win this, like the video and leave a comment. Let me know which one you do prefer. That's all you've got to do to be answered. And once the winner is decided, I'll either do a community post or mention it in another review. Doing it this way, hopefully the guys who watch the videos to the end are more likely to win. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, something a little bit different. And I'll see you in the next one.